Right, hi guys, welcome to the Orange Desk, and today we've got a special little video. It's our first battle report, and it's Kill Team, and it is Black Legion Renegades versus the Inquisition. So, go through the the uh, Black Legion first. We've got ten cultists. Um, this champion, he hasn't got an auto gun, but uh, yeah, he's just that guy with the close combat weapon. We've got Heavy Flamer, he's a um, dirty fighter specialist, he's got Soul Blaze special rule. And we've got, um, they've all got auto guns. Yeah, just that one point per person upgrade. And we've got two Space Marines, two Chaos Space Marines. They've got a uh, close combat weapon upgrade, so they're 15 points each. And then they're sort of linked to this Hell Brute. And he takes up like half the half the points, but he's got the Multi Melter and the, the Power Fist there. So um, he's going to be a bit of a fire focus point hopefully they're gonna focus on him and uh, let these guys do the dirty work so we'll see we'll see what happens so that's the Black Legion list and then over here we've got the Inquisition and I know it's breaking the rules but we do have an Inquisitor Malus heading up this force um, he's only 25 points he's got no upgrades today um, and he's got a bolt pistol and a close combat weapon. Uh, with him, he's got four acolytes. They've got hotshot las guns. Three of them have hotshot las guns. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. And uh, he's got a plasma gun. And they've got carapace armor. Um, yeah. And this guy with the plasma gun, he's the weapon specialist. He's got uh, ignores cover, which could come in handy with a plasma gun, especially slaying space marines. And in there, they've got a priest. Um, yeah, no upgrades for him, it's just 25 points for priest. And then we've got two death cult assassins, the ladies over here. Um, yeah, they got two power weapons. They're pretty good. Uh, Fifteen points each, so they're they're equal to the Space Marines. And then everybody is riding in the Chimera, which has no upgrades. Okay, so we've done deployment. We've done mission. We rolled on the mission. It's number four, uh, which is infiltrate the camp. So. Uh, we rolled actually the the imperial uh, sorry the inquisition they are the defenders and suitably the chaos forces of chaos are the attackers so and this is the terrain you have to forgive the um fabric thingy i haven't got enough money to buy one of them fancy game mat eu dot eu things but we'll get there one day it looks alright with some stones and whatnot, some of my terrain that I built. So we've got like this bunker thing. It's not gonna really I'm not decided it's not gonna give any kind of like bunker rules to it. Um generally these things these bits will give them like four up cover. Um yeah, there's a bit of like stock out stuff there. There's some oil bars on the corner there. There is a comms relay, but I don't know if I use the rules for that. I can't really to keep track on that. So let's do deployment. So forces of chaos have deployed like this. We've got the Hellbrutes down here. He's got like a line of sight over there. See how that goes. The two, the twins, <laughs> the two space marines. There, they're on this corner, getting like hiding behind this building, ready to kind of scamper around the corner there. And some cultists here, it's over here, the flamer guys there. So yeah, so they set up. You know, this is the defenders half bit, and then this is the uh, attackers. And the rules are, you get 
for the attackers, they get one point for every u uh, unit, which in kill team is an individual model. That's a unit that passes off the table edge. It leaves and that isn't killed. But it's difficult for the defenders. They get only one point for every three units they kill. Plus all the others, you know, slay the warlord or kill the leader, whatever it's called in this game. Say the warlord, um, break the enemy. Here's the other one. I think first blood also. So we'll go on to chaos. Turn one. So we just rolled uh, for leadership traits, which I forgot to do before, and the black dice for the chaos. He's got um, the Zealot special rule. <laughs> you can get much different there because you're one and a six. And the um, Inquisitor, he got um, the outflank special rule, which actually in actually in this D3 plus two, I think it is, or one, I can't remember, units get outflank, but it's completely useless. So, meh, there you go. And also, I forgot to mention who the Warlord is for this. So the Warlord is going to be this twin this guy oh that's going to be quite difficult to tell them apart but we'll keep track so he's the warlord and he's got zealot which could be useful for his twin brother <laughs> okay right here's the movement for the chaos forces they've just basically gone from here to here it's the line of them the, uh, the idea I think the tactic for these guys would just be to run I don't think they can actually do any shooting from this point of view, but maybe it might be worth just like picking up first blood or something on the way there. But we'll see. And then round here, the um, so this is the this is the leader here. He's just tucked in there into the little nook. Was it a cranny? I don't know. A nook and a cranny. And he's tucked in there, and the hell brute is there with a line of sight. Mm, looks like side armor on there, and a chimera there. So that could be interesting. See what happens next in the shooting phase. Okay, so we've done shooting phase. This little one, little cultist. It's funny in Kill Team how cultists become so much more. Like the insignificant ones become much more significant. This little guy at the, the far end here with the, the, the black hood there. He shot up at the boys up here, well, two of the, the guys up here. It's within rapid fire range, his auto gun, his little pea shooter, strength three, no AP, AP dash. Managed to kill one acolyte there, which was quite impressive. Everybody else has run, apart from, oh, this guy, he shot, he shouldn't be, he shouldn't have run. This guy, he had a shot up at the and if you can see down from where is it that he had a shot up at the side of the building in the distance there where the uh, the other guy is back there um, yeah here not rapid fire range just normal one shot killed him it's pretty good failed his armor save these, these uh, inquisitional guards are not doing very well are they so the acolytes, they died. Two acolytes dropped. So they get first blood. That's one point already to chaos. And there's a lot of cultists running across this little hill here. So that multi-laser is going to have to do some damage. Mind you, while skulking around the back of that building... Hmm... Looking at the hell brute, he did try. He did fire just out of melter range, which is annoying. But it's almost in charge distance, to be honest, which will probably happen next turn. Um, he fired onto the at the side armor, but missed. Didn't he, he rolled a one for us to hit? Also. And um, yeah, so on to Inquisition turn one. Don't know how they're gonna drag themselves back from this. Tough times for the for the Inquisition. Okay, so the end of um, turn one 
in total. Well, in turn one for the Inquisition anyway. Also, so the let's do shooting first. Um, there wasn't anything else that happened. There was no assaults. So there was no run moves. Um, well, so movement. This guy actually moved. He moved up to the barricade there. He moved back to there, and he moved into this little hole there. The camera stayed where it was. Twisted its uh, turret round, shot at the um, hell brute, which is now that's what the little mark is now crazed, and it's lost a hull point. They got a glancing hit on him, so he's now crazed. But I haven't rolled to see what that is yet, so we'll do that in a second. The plasma guy. Um, he killed. Uh, cultist that was on top of that hill there. Um, this guy, this acolyte here, it was horrendous shooting from him. He tried to kill this guy well within, you know, I mean, a child could make that shot. So anyway, there's still a load of cultists down here, and there's still two post-humans, evil post-humans, and a hell root down here, so good luck. <laughs> right, on to turn two for the chaos.